And two of the local ninjas who got the call to be on season 11 are with us today. Madeline McNeil, Jody Avila, and his son, Brandon Avila, who is seven years old. And Brandon, I understand you're already a ninja athlete yourself? Yes, I'm, I'm a ninja athlete myself. And, and you practice in your backyard, huh? Uh, I practice in, in our backyard with my dad. Oh, how so amazing. Cool. Father and son. How, so we saw the video of you watching your dad compete on the show. What was that like for you to see him going through that? It was amazing to watch my dad uh, go on American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> so cool. Dad, what a proud moment, right? Yeah, it's, it's super. It's just so much fun. I, I, I'm, I'm privileged to be able to just get to, to do what I love with him, and he loves it just as much as I do. So. It's, a, it's a, just a really cool time in my life right now. And Madeline, for you, where did your road begin with Ninja Warrior? Because obviously you're all very athletic, but the things that you guys do on this show, it's just Test staggering. Of yeah. Test of strength. I can't imagine doing it in private, but <laughs> doing it with all of these people watching. Yes. It sounds like it's a lot of mental yeah, competition. It's as a well. whole nother element having a live audience there. Um, I started as a gymnast. I have a gymnastics background, and so I actually went to a taping of American Ninja Warrior, uh -huh. and I was like, I want to do that one day. So that became a goal for myself. And the first time you ran the course, how did it go? It was really fun. <laughs> um, it was really fun to be a rookie um, because I didn't have any expectations for myself. I just wanted to go out there, and I just wanted to kill it. And so I just had the time of my life the first time I competed. Now, both of you guys, give us an idea. Are you able to see, I know that you train and you don't know what they're gonna throw at you, right? Correct. But when it's your turn to go, are you? Are the contestants given any kind of guidelines or you literally are watching it sort of unfold in front of you? We have no information when we go over there. We just basically arrive on the course and you see this, this, this incredible spectrum that they have. I mean, they have lights everywhere. It's, right. it's, it's incredible actually being there live. And then you just, you know, you go over rules, and as you're going over rules, that's your first time looking at the course and, mm -hmm. and uh, at these obstacles. You don't get to practice them, you don't get to try them. It's Nothing. Just, Nothing. So no. literally, that first run, when we see it on TV, is your first run. Yeah, yeah, we have not touched the obstacles before we touch them on the live show. And that's so interesting to me, because the jumping, the starting, the grabbing the bars, you have no idea what it's like until you're there in that moment. Yes, that's yeah. a whole other element. I, you don't know what anything's gonna feel like the first time you grab it. Okay, so talk to us about training then, because if you don't know which obstacles you will be facing on the course, how do you effectively train to ensure you're ready to handle them? Well, you kind of just train a little bit of everything. You got to do agility stuff for the balance obstacles. You obviously want to be strong upper body. Um, you want to work a lot of different kind of grip techniques and different, you know, you have to know how to fly and catch stuff in the air. So it's just bunch of different stuff that you, you got to do. You just try to be as well-rounded as you can be and you right. hope for the best. You hope that you've prepared when you get to run the course. And Brandon, you're doing a great job on this obstacle course. Is this video of your backyard that we're seeing right now? Yes, this is. Uh, that's the video of me and my dad training. It looks like you're doing it very well. It's so <laughs> awesome. And that's not easy, man. The pull-ups and moving those bars around. What I have to say, Madeline and uh, Jody, this is so cool, is that in the audience, of course, this is a great family-friendly show, right? You get to work out with your son. But what a way to really shine a spotlight on being healthy, working out, really gaining momentum, if you will, and, and having your son and littles watching you guys do all of this, right? And it's Absolutely. so positive. Absolutely. It's just, it's, it's so much fun. And it's just like, it's, it's, you know, trying to stay fit. It's not even really in my mind. It's just, we're just having fun doing it. And, you know, that's just a really good byproduct of trying to, you know, of, of having fun with your family. It's just, you know, we, yeah. we stay fit in the process. I think that's a good point, what he was bringing up. I've always said that fitness can be fun. And it just, it's a good testament to how fun it can be. So, and Madeline, with a background in gymnastics and now having competed on American Ninja Warrior, what is next for you? Um, I've been getting into CrossFit lately, so yes. I'm a person, yeah, I'm a person that I just love to achieve something new. I like to learn new skills, so every day for me is a learning process, and so I hope to compete next season. That would be amazing. I think that's kind of all what we hope for, but right. um, yeah, I just kind of take things as I go, and I learn new skills, and that's really fun for me. I Such like seeing progress. Positive attitude, all of you. It's so nice. And Brandon, what about you, buddy? Are you hoping one day to be on that same Ninja Warrior stage? One day, I hope that I could, that I could compete on American Ninja Warrior like my dad.
I'm sure you absolutely <laughs> I'm sure that's can coming. do that. <laughs> that is so great. And here's your, you also have a two-year-old, right? I do have a two-year-old. Yeah, he's a uh, Christian. He's, 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 He's a baby. No, actually, he's, he's, he's three years old now. But yeah, we, we got him hanging around on stuff, too. But he's, he's not quite as fearless as this one was at that age. But, but right. he's, he's, he's coming, too. So it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. By the way, of course, uh, we're big fans of American Ninja Warrior here at KPRC Channel 2 because it airs on Channel 2. Monday night's episode, we're going to see both of you competing? Yes, and a bunch of other Houston Ninjas as well. You're going to yeah. see uh, Josh Salinas, Daniel Gill, yeah. Yeah, the kid, uh, Barclay Nick Stockett. Fordney, Barclay yeah. Stockett, uh, David, David Wright. Wright. Just, so many yeah, people. They've all been on the show. Yes, yes. so fun. A ton of just super strong ninjas from Houston, and it's, it's going to be a really fun episode. We're super proud of you guys. Thanks so much Thank for you. coming in. Thank you so much yeah, for having no, us. Please tell the rest of the gang we say hi. A reminder, that show does air Monday night starting at 7 p.m. right here on Channel 2. That's right.